Binocular is also just niggled out a little bit in third place as well. So coming towards the home turn, and it's still overturn who shows in front. But now he has to be niggled along by Jason Maguire as Rock on Ruby is a neck behind him in second place. Binocular is switched to the right by AP McCoy to try and get in with his challenge as they come down to the second last. Now Binocular switched to the left as Rock on Ruby on the right comes to join overturn who's with a blue cap in the center. It's the second last flight. Rock on Ruby is just the lead up to overturn in second. Binocular in third position. A mistake from Clark's choice in fourth as Binocular throws down the challenge to Rock on Ruby as they come to the last flight in the Christmas hurdle. It's Rock on Ruby but only just. Binocular is within striking distance. They head up the run in now. The white cap is Binocular. He's joined Rock on Ruby. Overturned behind those. Binocular and Rock on Ruby are locked together in combat as they come towards the line. It's Binocular. They turn the final corner now. Two more to jump in the WilliamHill.com Christmas hurdle. And it's still overturn in the lead. Gamely hanging on. Binocular looking a real menace, though, in the green and yellow jacket. Uh, getting three lengths away from Starluck, trying to pick up with Kaiba Kim. And they head towards the second from home now. Binocular coming out this side just took the lead. Binocular at the second from home by a length overturn trying to rally. Starluck is only three lengths away. Kyber Kim with a bit to do. One to go. AP asks Binocular to go and settle it once and for all. Overturn not quite done with yet. Starluck is four lengths away. The final hurdle. Binocular in front. Two lengths from overturn who's doing his best. 200 yards to go. Binocular driven out by the champion. The champion and the champion. A binocular fighting more up the running. Getting away. Terrific performance. Binocular Binocular wins by three or four. And now for the first time, they begin to wind it up. And Raya Star is now being ridden. Darlan down the outside, four wide around the turn. Dodging bullets is creeping into it. Get me out of here is now at the back of the field. They make the turn in. Four, absolutely in line. Countrywide flame on the inside. The whip is up on Sins and Ashes. Darlan down the outside. Punjabi now beats a retreat. Raya Star staying on and pulling up before the second from home. Get me out of here. Over two out. Darlan took the lead. Darlan on the near side has gone on now for AP McCoy and he has sprinted clear of Countrywide Flame, Rare Star dodging bullets and cinders and ashes but it is Darlan with a blistering turn of foot into the second from home, leads at the last Darlan is over and clear, Rare Star is in second, Countrywide Flame is in third but Darlan is out in front to give Nicky Henderson a record fifth win in the Christmas hurdle Darlan is back and Darlan wins the Christmas hurdle and it's the new one who leads. Sam Twiston Davis takes a look back and he sees there stalking menacingly in second. My tent or yours and AP McCoy. And now the big two come to the fore. The new one has a lead of a length and a half into the home straight. My tent or yours has covered his every move. They've quickly gone six, seven lengths clear of Duke of Navan, Sametagal and Grimetti. Racing down towards the second from home, Sam Twiston Davis urging the new one to extend and tries to clear away. My tent or yours now with two lengths to find. They've now got a furlong and a half to go in the Christmas hurdle. The new one still has the lead. Now being ridden towards the near side. My tent or yours as now they race down towards the final flight. And it is the new one who crashes his way through the flight but he still has the lead. My tent or yours towards the near side has now come alongside. My tent or yours by a head. The new one tries to battle back. My tens or yours to win the Christmas hurdle. And they so move into the home state. Sergeant Reckless is the back marker. So they're coming round the last bit of the turn, two to jump. And it's still Blue Heron bowls along in front. Fahini is three lengths behind him in second place. Purple Bay holds third, but has been ridden along for a while as Fahim begins to close down on Blue Heron. Sign of a victory is back five lengths away, six lengths away. Irving, I think, might be being pulled up. He is. And now in fifth place is Sergeant Reckless. And here's Fahim now has taken it up. For Heen and Ruby Walsh head down on the second last flight of hurdles, easily in front. Popped over it safely, and look at him go. He's five lengths ahead already. Purple Bay is in second. The pace set of Blue Heron in third. They're 25 lengths clear from sign of a victory. For Heen comes towards the last flight. Uh, not the greatest of leap, but it was effective, and he was already safely keeper of the WilliamHill.com Christmas hurdle. For Heen continues his progress. He's barely had a race. Wins great style.
They've got a half mile to go in the Christmas hurdle and Ruby Walsh and Faheen will lead them back towards home. And he's got many of the other riders now pushing in behind. The new one on the outside of Hargam, who's now being driven along by Barry Geraghty. Old Guard is also being ridden along now and still last is sign of a victory as Faheen now begins to really make it pay. He's now out in front by nearly two and a half lengths. Hargam in second, the new one in third, but it's Faheen who's quickened up the best. Here's two out. He attacked it really well. Far more fluent than the new one who hampered Hargan with a bad jump at the second from home. A full and a half to go. And it is Faheen who is now being pushed clear by Ruby Walsh. The lead extends to six lengths. The final flight of the Christmas hurdle. Faheen is over and clear. The new one in second. Hargam is back in third. But this is the real Faheen. Faheen, a back-to-back -back winner of a Christmas hurdle. He's a machine. Faheen. They've got about three furlongs to go in the Christmas hurdle. My tent or yours on the outside of the new one. They've got a length and a half over Yanworth, who's having to dig even at this comparatively early stage of the home straight, as it is the new one on the inside. Between horses, my tent or yours. Towards the outside, Yanworth is being driven. Chittabello is trying to pick them up. They race down now towards the final quarter mile. This is the second room home. It will be the new one over on the far side. My tent yours is digging. Yanworth down the wide outside. He's now just taken second. He's closing up with every stride and it will be Yanworth who will come and claim the lead at the final flight of the Christmas hurdle. It was Yanworth and Barry Garrity to the new one in second. Back in third is my tent or yours and it is Yanworth now who is showing them a clean pair of heels and Yanworth will take the Christmas hurdle. The new one continues to have the advantage. He leads by about a length. Whitecap, Bouverdere in second place. They're still only three or four lengths ahead of Chesterfield and Mohead as they come then to the last bit of the term into the home straight in the Unibet Christmas hurdle. Two flights of hurdles to take. The new one continues to lead. Bouverdere continues to stalk him. He's only a length behind him in second place. The new one encouraged along by Sam Tristan Davis to try and get away from Bouverdere is on the right there coming through with his challenge and Barry Geraghty there are only four lengths ahead of the other pair. The second last, the new one, lands over it by a length and a half to Bouver. Dare now, who's uh, trying to make his challenge. Mahé is behind those in third position. Running down towards the last flight then. Bouver Dare on the right with a white cap moves alongside the new one as they come towards the final obstacle. Bouver Dare, good leap over it. Touchdown fractionally in front to the new one. Gamely running on in second place. But Bouver Dare extends his winning sequence, wins it. The gallant new one becomes a new racing millionaire with second prize money there. As they head towards the final two flights, Global Citizen still leads the way, but is he leading on sufferance here? Bouverdere cruising along in the slipstream of David Bass. In second place, Barry Geraghty riding with great confidence. Verdana Blue is stalking Bouverdere. Then if the cap fits, here is the second last. Bouverdere joining Global Citizen. Verdana Blue on the far side. He shakes up the favourite. Bouverdere, he gallops on a couple of lengths clear of Verdana Blue. Global Citizen hanging left down to the last. The favourites in front. It's Bouverdere chased by stable companion Verdana Blue. Very good over the last Bouverdere. Verdana Blue is attacking there on the near side. The mare's got a good turn of foot. Bouverdere from Verdana Blue. There's only a half length in it. Bouverdere is all out. Verdana Blue trying hard. Oh, it's tight. They flash past together. Verdana Blue on the near side of Bouverdere. About to turn for home then in the Labrooks Christmas hurdle. Elixir to Nuts and Bally Andy. Uh, Bally Andy going on from Elixir to Nuts. Epitont cruises up. Silver Street coming there strongly with a good chance. And Verderna Blue is now cutting through the pack and goes into fourth place towards the right. Last year's winner, the Mayor, as they run on now to on towards the second last. Silver Street, Bally Andy and Epitont. Chased by Verderna Blue. Fusil Raffles pulling up. Getaway Trump pulling up over the second last. Far side Silver Street. Epitont now is Asked the big question by Barry Geraghty, and she quickens up well from Silver Streak. Then Bally Andy and Verdana Blue, and it's Epitont who leads going towards the last flight, and she's quickly over. Four or five lengths clear of his second Silver Streak. Bally Andy and Verdana Blue, and Epitont showing genuine finishing speed here. She's picked up so well, and surely a champion hurdle contender.